Hey, Tony here. Today I'm doing an unboxing from Nova Media, so stick around. Hold up, I thought you said you weren't going to be buying from Nova Media this year. Didn't you spend enough money on Nova Media for the past two years? Well, I really wasn't expecting to, but then I saw Movies with Ryan did an unboxing, and he actually got a free movie with his order. You said last year that you weren't going to order because the shipping was so expensive. Yeah, I know I always complain about the shipping, but to me, I think it was worth it to be able to get some new items added to the collection. Okay, just open it up. Let's see what you got. So this is my third or fourth year ordering from Nova Media. Um, I do like the titles that they have available. The shipping does get expensive, but the way that they run their sales is pretty good. Um, all these items were half price and some of them are really nice looking with their packaging. So I thought I'd go ahead and just go ahead and order one more time for, I think this is my third or fourth year. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what I've got in this box. So they do a great job with the packaging. Um, we've got a few bundles here. Looks like I got four bundles. I actually don't remember what all I picked up because I was kind of just going through the website. So I don't think that there were a lot of um, still books that I needed, but they have a lot of great items that are just packaging upgrades. So this first stack, I'll show you this. Actually, let me go ahead and get all of these unwrapped so that I can show you this without any interruption. Okay, I've got everything unwrapped. I did purchase 12 titles. And just a quick reference, um, I did watch Movies with Ryan's live stream that he did. And he did an unboxing of all the items that he picked up from Nova Media. So after I watched that live stream, I kind of went on the website to see what was still available. And kind of got antsy and went ahead and just made the purchase. So thanks a lot, Ryan, for letting me know about the sale and that it was still going on. So I've got these separated into different groups. Um, I've got the limited number group that I'm going to show first. So I got Greenland in this nice packaging. They always do such a great job with the, with the packaging. And I've got number 476, which is kind of hard to focus, but I got 476 of 700. I believe all of these are 700 runs. I got Tatane with this nice slip box. Great looking artwork. I've never seen this film. I got number 103 from 700. I also got Shudder. I had never seen this one before. I didn't have this one in the collection. But it looked like it would be something I would be interested in. And I got number 480 of 700. And this film I did see. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But it wasn't terrible. And this right here is Border, and it's got a really nice looking box with an embossed title on it. It also contains a booklet. The spine is also embossed, which is nice. And I got number 123 of 700. Okay, next up is just a regular slipcover edition, and it is for Dreamers. I don't have Dreamers in this collection. Um, I've only seen this film once, and it's been a very long time since I've seen it. And so very nice to have this in the collection on Blu-ray. So very happy to have that. Okay, next up are just regular slip boxes that are not numbered. I got Chicago. I enjoy this film. It's a musical. I saw it for the first time when I got the still book this previous year. And so it was nice to be able to get a slip box in the collection. A great film that I really enjoy, and that is Cliffhanger with a slip box. So I decided to pick this one up. And then I got Sin City, which I really enjoy. Great film, great visual effects with this slip box. And then I got The Aviator with some nice um, packaging. I do just have the regular Blu-ray release of this uh, without packaging, so I decided to pick this one up. I got Fallen Angels. This is another one that I didn't have in the collection. Um, this right here had a Kino Lorber release that was very expensive. It's out of print. So I decided to pick this one up with a nice slip box. And then another great Stallone film, Lock Up, with this great slip box. It does have an embossed title on it. And we have the image there of Sylvester Stallone. So very nice to have this one in the collection. And then the last set that I bought is Infernal Affairs, the trilogy. 
Um, I do know that this has a Criterion release, which I do not have in the collection. But this right here had a really nice box set at a, at a decent price. So I decided I was going to pick this one up. So those are all the pickups that I did, or all the titles that I picked up from the Nova Media sale. Um, their website is really interesting because they do have a lot of items still in stock that I've purchased over the past few years. Um, so hopefully one of these days, pretty soon, I'll try to do a collection update where I show all of my Nova Media titles and if you are interested in seeing something like that. But please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this particular unboxing that I did from Nova Media. Let me know if you have any Nova Media titles in your collection because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.